Hey there all craft beer lovers, it's the Cider Fanatic here with another beer on the table and today we are going to Sweden and we are going to take a look at a, a new offering from Benchwarmers Brewing Company out of Helsingborg in the south of Sweden and this is their What Does a Gay Horse Eat? Oatmeal IPA. Yeah, I mean, this guy's uh, got a. It has to be one of the quirkiest titles I have ever seen on a beer. So, I mean, pretty ridiculous. But in the same sense, a kind of a pretty cool and colorful and kind of cartoonish uh, label artwork there. Pretty cool. What does a gay horse eat? eat? And then you see a, yeah, I know, a dancing pink horse or something and a rainbow. So yeah, I think it's a kind of a pun or something like that. Uh, I've never heard heard of it before. So yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, guys, the specifics. We have, as you can see, uh, ingredients, uh, barley and wheat and oats. 5.6% ABV and we have a 440 ml can. That's what we have. That's everything we have on the label. No information. Uh, whatsoever there i did check on their website and it is a dry hopped oatmeal ipa sounds pretty cool let's get this beer out into a glass then and see what we have there we go nice pop on the can opening there let's get this one out so yeah guys i have done uh, one other offering from uh, bench warmers brewing company uh, it was their uh, Team Freedom, which was a uh, collab beer between Benchwarmers and uh, I think it was Cycle Brewing out of Tampa Bay, Florida in the United States. There we go. Oh, this one is, is very foamy. Very, very foamy and lively. So, yeah, guys, I do have a little bit more left in the can, but I will have to stop right here because, as you can see, we have something of a kind of a, I don't know, six finger head there. Kind of compact white foam. As you can see, very lively beer. Highly carbonated. There we go. Color, straw golden. Looks pretty nice. A little bit hazy, not too much. There we go. Let's see if I, can, if I can smell something through the foam here. Let's see what we have. Yeah, definitely some hoppy notes there. <sighs> yeah, a little bit of kind of, uh, I don't know, grapefruit perhaps. <sighs> a little bit of uh, honey melon perhaps in the back end of the uh, aroma there. <sighs> yeah, a little bit of floral character as well to this one actually. But uh, I mean, it's pretty compact uh, foam there, guys. Uh, don't know if I if I can even get through this. So interesting, but this is how it is. Uh, they have added, as I said, oatmeal to this one. It's an oatmeal IPA, so I guess the oatmeal will give it the body or uh, the the beer a little bit more body to it. Let's see how it works out. Cheers, guys, and here's to Benchwarmers Brewing Company. And there, what does a gay horse eat? Oatmeal IPA. Cheers. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, up front, hoppy. But pretty, pretty mellow, pretty mild actually. Uh, grapefruit, definitely a floral character to this one. Yeah, mm. not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I have to go again. Mm. Too much foam on this one, not good. So that's a little bit of a drawback for me, but uh, let's return to the taste once more. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of kind of a uh, 
as I said, a little bit of a Flora character. Kind of a very, very mild, hoppy, bitter kick uh, in the kind of the in the end of the flavor spectrum there. But very mellow, very mild. See if we can get some more beer, more beer out. There we go. So yeah, it is. It does have a kind of a little bit of a uh, fruity character as well. I get some kind of apple notes in there, and that's kind of unusual, but that's what I'm getting in the uh, flavor there. So yeah, but I mean, pretty nice one still. So a final sip, guys, and then we will rate this beer. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so to sum it up, uh, oatmeal IPA. I mean, I don't know if I'm really getting the oatmeal in here. The body uh, to the beer is, I mean, fairly light anyway. Yeah, maybe a little bit towards the kind of medium side of things, but not a thick beer in any sense of the word. Uh, Floral character for sure, a little bit of grapefruit in there, kind of a, a fruity character as well, but hard to de actually define the uh, the taste in this one. Uh, but I mean, not a bad beer, a, a nice mellow hoppy kick to it as well, definitely not bad guys. Uh, so I mean, if you like a uh, easy to drink IPA, I would definitely recommend this one from Benchwarmers Brewing Company. What does, does a gay horse eat? Rating wise, three out of five. It's a three out of five from the Cider Fanatic, guys. That's what that was everything I had for today. Feel free, of course, to chime in, comment if you want. Have you tried it? What did you think of it? Uh, thumb me up if you like the review. And of course, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.